as soon as you emotionally cheat. Women are the biggest. What's yes, the stats on that? a thousand percent. Here, here, here. I'll go. Oh, you want to hear the stats on it? I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to break the. I'm about to break this with this one. How many guys do y'all think? Are having sex normally in between the ages of eighteen and thirty right now? Fucking everybody, everybody. Eight, so percentage. all of, so 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 ninety nine percent. You think most of the guys? Hey, let's go to the line with each of the women. Yeah. What percentage of men do you think are actually having sex right now? Um, out of the total, po- okay, I can give it this. I think like from eighteen to thirty five. Uh, like it's eighteen 20, to thirty actually. Eighteen to thirty. Yeah. Huh? Are having sex regularly? Yep. Yes. Twenty percent. Okay. Well, that's super low. You think yeah. only twenty percent of guys are having sex? I don't sex? think guys are having sex. Like okay, that. what do you think? Not the guys, not general guys. Yeah, yeah, we're talking all all the U.S. population. Regular guys. <sighs> you think 95? I'll let motherfuckers fuck it. Well, Whether it's 99. regularly or not. What do you think? I'm gonna say a good sixty-five. Yeah, a good sixty-five. Yeah, go what about you? Seventy-five. Yeah, I'll 75? go with her. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually like. Well, since we we're doing it that way, it'd be sixty-seven. There'd be sixty-six, sixty-seven percent are the ones that are actually fucking. So one third, though, one in three. So if you have like a bunch of family members that are men, one in three of them probably are virgins and/or haven't had sex in the last wow. year. Wow. And wow. yeah, so you can say that men are the ones that are probably cheating more, but it's definitely not true. Women are absolutely having way more sex than men are right now. The problem is that the men that y'all choose. Mm are the ones that are sleeping around a lot oh, because yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. you're a really pretty girl. You. So you're definitely going to talk to attractive men. So yeah, those are the type of guys that, what do they do? They get, they get the bitches. You know the what I'm bitches. saying? You know <laughs> they what get saying? the bitches. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they do. It in my face. I'm them. just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're attractive and you're attracted to a guy, obviously he's probably something. I, I he got this. something going I, for him. I'm not going to blame him entirely for the cheating because I felt like, now that I've matured um <laughs> now because the phone um but I feel like uh we we just weren't for each other we weren't compatible so like I said I shut down so I was shut down I don't yeah. want to have sex don't touch me leave me the fuck alone yeah let me be in my zone so of course he's, and, then, and then he's gonna step you, out you, even more once you do that yeah but I've learned I don't never say what I won't do now because what I won't do yes the next bitch will yeah, sure in the fuck will. So I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> you don't do that no more. I don't do that no more. <laughs> you, now. Learned, you learned your lesson. I learned my lesson. So well, yeah, go go ahead. Uh, I wanted to get Sir Hale's uh, input on this subject before we continue. Yeah, uh, hypergamy is real and it's necessary. But here's the issue: most women are hypergamous. They want to go to the next man. You, you should be pushing your man to be the next best him. Hello. And Facts. when you find the right woman, I agree that when a woman loves a man, but love runs out. And what sustains when love runs out is respect. And so men have to work hard to make sure that no matter what, this woman respects me. Mm. Because when she respects and she doesn't love, his respect and the way he moves, it'll get that back again. She'll find some reason. Because what else is going to be out in the street? How many men out here are providers and taking care of their business and owning stuff? <laughs> so, so this is what, when you've got experience, you know this. You can go out there and go go try to be hypergamous with another dude. You're mm-hmm. not going to find that. And so hypergamy is real. It is necessary. But women have to use that hypergamy and put that in your man, like motivate him to want to be more and better. Not nagging, not talking about he got to be more. But if if you see something in him, become his assistant. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people say, we know women wait for men to get to the finish line and that's why they don't get picked. Become his assistant. Mm -hmm. When When you can show you're invested in what he's doing. That creates an unbreakable bond. And those are the kind of women that when he gets on, she never has to worry about anything because he's mm-hmm. seen that she was with him in the mud. And how many women can we honestly say was with a man when he was in the mud? Yeah. Although I agree with you, how do we get men to allow us into that space with them? Because a lot of men are so prideful and, and I get it. You know, we all have trust issues. We're fucked up individuals, especially at this age. But how do you say, like, look, I'm here for you and I got you. Like, I want to ride this with you. And they open that door because a lot of men will not open that door. They're like, "Mm, yeah, no. Your words mean nothing. Just show it. Yeah, your words mean nothing. You have to do. So let me tell you with my wife. Let me tell you what got me. So I've always been ambitious. I'm a high earner, high octane, high dude. and But I'm a perfectionist. So I like to do it all myself. Right. She didn't when when I was working at Starbucks, the coffee shop, uh, when we first met, what she did, because I was I was I thought I was gonna be this dope speaker, this this writer, this, I thought I was gonna be the stuff. <laughs> so what did she do? She cooked me dinner and brought it to work and ate it with me. So when I was writing on stuff, I would bounce my ideas off of her. Mm-hmm. She became my assistant. Matter of fact, to be honest, when I was working jobs, I never put application in. She did that for me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now she ain't got to worry about nothing because I take care of her. <laughs> she invested into me and there's nothing that she can't have 
because she's earned whatever I give her. So it's not even it's not even me giving her a gift. She's earned that. The house that I just bought my wife, it wasn't a gift. She earned that house. I want you to go back to when you got married, though. But we're in a different generation. But that we, don't matter. We're only in a different generation because we no longer care. Mm, we wait for people mm, to be on and to mm. be built in virtues that's and care and concern. So that stuff is timeless. And yeah. we, we talk about modern culture. It's really just us. We don't give a damn about anything other than what we want in the moment. Right. And I think that if we can go back and we can show appreciation, we can change this stuff around, especially yeah. for those who want to be married and have families. Okay. I don't think we can. Facts, bro. I don't think so. I just feel like everybody in our generation wants a finished product. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, that's just how that's just how I feel. That's I just true. I just feel like right now at the at the you know in the times that we living in and we we're so overly exposed. Mm -hmm. Like anything you want to see, you can exactly. see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's sad. Yo yo. I mean, like like he was saying, you know, like your your woman kind of is one click away yeah. from a dude that's better than you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Let me ask you a question. And vice versa. How many? How many, how many people has this happened to where a woman was with a man and then she actually found somebody better than you and she's still with them? True. Exactly. So you has got to keep doing it. Yeah. Because we're, we're caught, we're, we're in a fear-based culture. We're afraid that the person we're with is going to leave. Mm -hmm. They're going to cheat. They're mm -hmm. going to screw up and we're all fearful. And that's why we're protecting ourselves. We got to, we got to overcome our own traumas. Yes. Overcome your own fear. Yeah. yeah. I completely agree with you on that one, man. So hold on one second before you continue. Um, I want to uh, tell a quick story. Oh, uh, to the ladies. So there's this football player. His name is Cooper Cup. Uh, he plays in the NFL right now. Uh, he's a receiver for the Rams. And he went to Eastern Washington. Don't quote me on that. But his wife, at the, uh, his wife now, um, was taking care of him. He didn't. Even, he, all he did was go to class, and she worked full time to take care of him. He, I think, he even pushed her, pushed him through school. Now he's a triple crown receiving like top receiver in NFL. He's making millions of dollars. He's just re-signed with the Rams and she doesn't have to work anymore. Uh, the point of the story is, is that she saw the, she saw a, she projected a product, pushed him through it. And now she's living the lavish life that he is providing for her. So, I mean, if you can find a man that you can hopefully see in the future that he's going to be that kind of man, I would say go for it. Nobody can predict the future. I, I would love that, but I don't trust nobody in there. Yeah, you can't predict the future. I oh. feel like at this age, though. Yeah, we yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, another, another, uh, yeah, another issue is time. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just it all comes True. down to your age, a thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah, and with men, it's so different. Yeah, men never panic. You know, when women t turn thirty, they panic. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. yeah, with yeah. We men, don't want to talk with, about the wall. With, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there is a wall at thirty, ladies. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a sad thing. I agree. That's when my relationship ended. That's yeah. when my relationship ended. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I literally feel so bad. Like, I go on TikTok and always go to, like, the, the dating over 30 um, hashtag. And some of them women cry, and it's sad, man. I feel bad for them. I, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I'm like, damn, I feel bad for you. Like, you should have changed some shit a long time ago. Um, <laughs> hey, do we have time for Super Chats? Yeah, right after this one, because she's okay. the last one that hasn't answered this one part. Okay, cool, cool. Tra traditionally conservative relationship or 50-50 or something in between? Um, so, in between. No, most definitely in between. 25-75, um, something yeah, like that. Yeah, because I want to be able, if anything happens and, you know, like, you know, men get sick and they die early, um, you need to be able to, like, take over where he is. So, if he's, you know, providing me with this lavish lifestyle, I need to be able to maintain it, too. So. Or get some good life insurance.